This edge is perfect. You cannot see anything. I want to tell you a most common mistake what almost all painters do. Here is original paint and here is a new paint. I'm from Finland. Thank you now. Hi, I am Sami and I want to be Overlander. I rebuilt my ego. So now the van bottom works are done and now I start to masking it. I use this uh, plastic cover for the roof because it's uh, quite high and uh, I'm going to masking close all those door holes and uh, and then I make some small paper maskings here where I don't need to have color. So that's the job right now and then I need to use some extra masking tape those edges where I need to put some primer because I don't want the primer and the color is in the same same edge let's continue this work this window casket is quite hard for masking because it's in very deep you can't get the tape there easy so I'm using this 3M uh, what is this name uh, in Finland we call this lifting tape so this they sign trim masking tape 15 millimeter you can't use very long piece because it's not easy to put it in there so you have to try to sliding it in there it's it's very tight this rubber and uh, maybe I take too long piece like this you can't get it very perfect there but uh, it's under the rubber and then you're lifting it a little bit like this so so there is a tiny gap under here so you cannot see where the painting ends and the rubber stays clean from the spray i make also one mistake it's better make this edge taping first in this case because uh, you can get this plastic tape very strong attached to the window so if this paper is not very strong here i cannot lifting it very strong you continue like this so you can have your rubbers nice and clean when you finish the painting okay now i have masked this car I'm going to have lunch break, then I'm going to paint this. I have to make some temporary masking tapes here because uh, I'm painting with the red primer windshield gluing area. So then I need to take out this tape. When the top coat coming, then it's not see that red stripe there, cutting edge. So that's why there is tape like this. Okay, now I have red adhesion primer in my spray gun and uh, I'm going to spray it all places where I can see the bare metal. And remember this is red, I need to put non-stop full primer there before the main color. So you cannot see that red color in a heavy sunlight. So let's put the primer. It's quite not easy to, to see that you have it. Yeah, it's okay now. You try to use low pressure so it's not make lots of overspray. This wet on wet undercoat, uh, non-stop full primer. It's like a wet on wet primer, and uh, I use this under the chassis. And now I have the same color. I'm, it's a little bit shaded to to car color. So the mission now is cover those 
all red areas so we have a solid color for the top coat so let's paint it a little bit higher pressure than red primer and it's very tricky to paint here i'm right-handed and i need to use this one This is quite an ugly place, but I don't use bond of it. There's a lot of benefits for use this color. We stick together very strong and then the top coat is going to fill it very easy. So that's the reason to use this. This side I can use right hand. So I think the windshield area is fine. I'm going to round the car. Now it's empty. So that's it. Perfect. Now there is a solid base color. And uh, it sticks together very well. We give it drying maybe 30 minutes and then I spray with top coat. And you remember we have this uh, satin matte color to come into this car. This color has satin matte additive, so this have to mix in 5 to 1 plus 10% thinner. And uh, if it's a full glossy, it's 3 to 1 and uh, plus 20, 25, if I remember. You look there, now it's, uh, it's in the 4, number 4 there, 5 to 1. We take the harder, we add this to the number 4 also, like this. And then thinner. And this 10%, I can put it like 15%, it goes around in the table. So, third, probably this is not enough, but then I make more if I see how, how much it's gonna take. So I have a thinner in my gun, I empty it, put the filter. This is a 190 microns filter, it's not for the water-based color. It's not very thin. This color has very strong pigments and uh, so clean the tools. Let's go to paint. Let's start from the up again. So this time we are going to spray that half layer. First, as you remember from the previous episode. So, and now the full complete layer. And this is the pretty part, let's call it that. Put the part layer. Still I'm going to paint this fender first.
Silva is the main thing. And painting. So it's not gonna run over. The camera battery is almost dead, but uh, I want to tell you a most common mistake what almost all painters do, they start to paint from down to up, because the spray boat blows air from up and suction is from down, so if you paint from down to up, the other overspray is going to make your surface dull, so we don't do that. Tomorrow I'm going to take all the masking. So this is the place where I start start the painting. So now I'm finished here. So here is a little bit orange peel. But what can I do? You have to end it somewhere. And now it's going to take too long time. I have to use some fading spray by if I want to want to make it, but maybe it's if I look it maybe it's gonna be just fine. So just to put them on of color. Now it's start to end. Now I need to check all places. They are full cover. That's it. If you want to make some fadings, these places are they need to do, but I don't think so. I'm going to do anything for this car. This is just fine. I don't think so. You can see it almost anything. You can peel it out. You can just make it. Very fine spray there. Okay. I can use this color that I have in the gun to spray the here. Because I go a little bit fast here, I think the color was going to end so now I can know it's everything fine. Okay yesterday we paint this one and uh, now it's dry. I need to try to take out this plastic tape because I'm not going to take out all maskings today because uh, I need to relax, I worked very late yesterday, but uh, I take out this tape for this rubber, can lay back down. I don't want it wor forming to wrong shape. Yeah, this can be just fine. A little bit dirty there, but you cannot see any edge there. Dirty came out with the tape from the hole. So you see now, this edge is perfect. You cannot see anything. You can't know I removed the window or not. It's very perfect now. I saw you a couple of places where I finished the painting. Here is original paint and here is a new paint. You cannot see very dense. This place, I fading it two sides of this plate. You can't see here anything where I and the paint. There is a one point, if you look very closely, you can see this one. I get some box from Autodoc. 
today. So let's see what, what's inside here. This is quite heavy box. Oh, these are wheel hubs. Yeah, new wheel hubs. Three decks. I don't know which color they saw, but they're looking quite nice if they have good fitment so they are nice and straight Okay, now my one is being painted and the masking maskings are removed and now it's uh, ready for the starting to build up. And uh, I think I'm going to end this video here. And if you like to watch, please subscribe to my channel. It costs nothing. And if you subscribe now, you'll be able to follow my journey to build this van and then traveling with it around the world. But anyway, this painting is not finished yet because I have all four doors and the hood, which is not painted yet. But uh, those parts, it's much easier. I need to have just some benches where I can lock them for the painting, but as you remember, I'm already sandblasted the rust off from those parts. So I just need some sanding and uh, joint sealants and uh, primering and paint. So that's uh, much easier than the car, car body because there's not mu much of maskings and something like that. But now I'm going to take the car up and uh, remove maskings from the leaf. See you in next episode. Thank you for watching and see you in next episode. And then you don't scratch the paint and you can follow the another blade and just try to scraping. But this takes a lot more time than masking it with the lifting tape.